Yo, man, Officer Ricky's back at it again. <laughs> so Rick Ross was on the Chad Johnson. Um, they got like a podcast, just like the athletic. Uh, Brandon Marshall and um, hit that like button also. Uh, Brandon Marshall, Chad Johnson, and Crowder played for the NFL. He was a linebacker for the Dolphins. And Ross was like, they, they brought up the verses and they was like, well, you know, that's, that's your arch enemy. Uh, why wouldn't you battle 50? And he was like, well, I don't think he, he can make a hit to save his life. I, I just don't think he's in that space. Now, granted, uh, 50 is basically semi-retired. He hasn't put out an album in almost, what, 2014? Uh, but to say, when, when Fifth is focused on anything, he does it pretty well. When, he, when his main focus was music, he was killing it. He was the number one artist in the game. I can't say the same for Ross. As talented as Ross is and as much work as he's put in, he was, that was basically Lil Wayne and Drake's era, the Rick Ross era, because he came out in 05 during 50's run. Then you had the Wayne run. Then you had the Drake run. So in Ross's entire prime, he's never been the dominant top guy, you know? And um, as far as, like, you know, legacy, you know, like I say, you can't take Rick Ross's catalog away from him, but I don't think he had a bigger impact in hip-hop than 50 had. As much as music as Ross has put out and, you know, if you like his catalog, you like his catalog. I just don't think he was more influential or impactful. Um, I didn't see people walking around trying to look like Rick Ross. I remember a lot of niggas was walking around G-Unit sneakers, G-Unit clothes, uh, spaghetti string tank tops, you know, the, the fake bulletproof vest. I mean, the impact, the influential impact that 50 had was is like no other. You know, and then talk about the crews. I mean, MMG, as talented as Wale and Meek and them is, MMG has not had nearly the type of success as a label as G-Unit had. You know, so, like I say, a guy could have more music, but impact is, is another thing. It's like Mace and Fab, for example. I don't think, Fabulous has been around 20 years. I don't think he had the impact that Mace had. You know, Mace carried Bad Boy post Biggie. And Mace had everybody wanting to get waves in their head and the whole pretty boy thing. Mace was really influential. Hell, he influenced Fab. When, I, when Fab first came out, I was like, hold up, this cat sounds like Mace. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, impact is, is one thing. You know, people always try to take that away from Biggie and be like, oh, he's only got two albums. I'm like, okay, he died. You act like he just put out two albums and just kicked his feet up and was chilling. You know? And, but they'll put Andre 3000 in his top five, but he has no albums. But they'll hold it against Biggie because he has two. But... You know, Ross was going on saying that uh, Fifth can't make a hit record. And I'm like, okay, I'm the man with Chris Brown was a pretty big hit a couple years ago. Um, the Power theme song, which people loved, it was, people loved it so much when they changed it, people was in an uproar. That's still, you know, big time to a lot of people. Um, the joint he did with, uh, with, with Pop Smoke, and that went double platinum. And when's the last time Rick Ross was a part of a double platinum project? No, man. <laughs> it wasn't like he was ever selling as many records as Fifth and a lot of these other big artists anyway. You know, but the Wu record, that's one of the hottest records of the year. And he's on it. Fifty, 50's on it. So like I say, when 50 wants to do it, he can. But um, he was kind of like blacklisted out of the industry anyway. When they did that whole Kanye 50 thing, that, that was pretty much his exit out. And um, he was pretty much done and didn't even want to do the 50 Cent thing anymore. But because Banks and Yale had kind of took time off, uh, Fifth had to kind of get back in the character and continue to do the, the, the rapping thing, even though he didn't want to do it anymore. I'm over here cooking. You got to excuse me. I ain't want my shit burning up trying to talk to y'all about rap niggas. But, uh, nah, as, as talented as Ross is and his catalog, and niggas are fighting, argue with you all day about his catalog, but um, I don't think Rick Ross had as big of an impact uh, as 50. You would never even the top artist of your, your genre. I put Ross up there, but he's a second tier. Second tier, you know what I mean? You was never, it came close to being as big as Wayne, Drake. I put Ross in that, that tier with the Jeezys, the T.I.s, uh, the 2 Chains, people like that. I put him in that, that kind of category. I don't see Ross as, I remember a couple years ago, Biggie was hanging out with him and was trying to, I mean, not Biggie, uh, Puffy was hanging out with him and trying to give him that rub that I ain't heard nobody rap like this since Big. I'm like, whoa. Ross don't compare to the impact that Biggie had. Not if you could compare bars all you want, flows, impact, not even close. 
Not even close. Like I said, there's some rappers who have really have doper catalogs than others and have put together uh, more albums and, you know, because his focus has been hip hop for the last 15 years. 50's focus hasn't been. When you talk about Ross and this whole beef, which he started, and I think it was like 09 when this whole thing came apart, Ross's career was transcending while 50's career was declining. So you got him, timing is everything. You got him at the right time. Because I think if Ross would have came at 50 in 05, when he first came out, it would have been a lot different. But by the time he was barking up that tree, you know, it's like it's like trying to pick on the big dog in the yard and he's on his last legs. He's like 13 years old. He's done. You know what I mean? So it's like, how much credit am I going to give you when you didn't even get at this man in his prime? You waited until a man was damn near in ICU. You know what I mean? His career ICU. He was done with that. That was over. And Ross knew it and took advantage of it. And... Started hanging out with cats like, you know, anyone who had a problem with Fifth, he was hanging out with him. But, you know, he still to this day uh, will, you know, troll him and stuff like that. Like he said, oh, he's going to have to pay me to use the BMF theme song with, you know, him and Styles. And so I'm like, yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to cut, you got to come to me and I'll give you that sample. I'll give you the clearance. And then uh, you got to get on camera, get a two piece from Wingstop. And, and tag my name in it. This is what he said. I was like, oh, yeah, you, 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 he's not doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you bugging, bro. But, yeah, Ross is a – he's a character, man. But, yeah, I don't I don't believe Rick Ross had nearly the, the impact that 50 had. You know, better career, better uh, music career, discovery, whatever you want to you – could, you could name that. But I, he didn't have the impact at all. You know, and at 20 years from now, we'll talk about this conversation and be like, oh, yeah, you remember that, that guy with the big beard, the fat guy who used to, yeah. I mean, it, just even look at his relevance. Tim and 2 Chains had the lowest watched versus battle. And them niggas were sitting up in the studio getting massages and had strippers who acted like they didn't want to be there in, in the damn video. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a tragedy. That was the worst verses they ever did. So that shows you how popular he is. And y'all hear so much about how great his music is, but I'm like, he ain't selling shit. The records ain't selling. The interest ain't really there. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think. Would y'all even want to entertain a Rick Ross versus uh, 50 uh, versus? Let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Hit that thumbs up button.